what is freedom to you guys? Because today we are going to be talking about freedoms. And as you know, guys, I'm a Russian guy, so this is a very important subject for me. Today we came over to some sort of a cafe and this is how the parking looks like. We got a little piggy walking around the place. We have come over to the Mountain Coffee at Zoo and apparently you're able to pet one of the friendliest, friendliest animals you could get, which are capybaras. Saladi cap. Can we get two tickets, please? Have to walk through this contraption over here so that nobody can get through. Very nice. And over here you could buy some food for the animals. Savadi Cap, can we get one? For 100 baht, three dollars. Thank you. I'm gonna give this to Evelina so she could be feeding the animals. Look at this guy. He's huge. Humongous guy. He wants grass. Oh yes, look at that. He doesn't like them carrots. He likes a good old grass. Well, Evelina is feeding the animals around the place. We got horses. I wanted to talk about the freedoms. And one of the biggest freedom for myself, as you know, I'm from Russia, so there's not that much freedom. And one of the biggest freedoms that I love is being able to go all around the place. And that is the freedoms which are daily taken away from Russians, obviously from what is happening right now. But the freedom that I love the most is owning a car. And you might be wondering how our cars got anything to do with freedoms. Well, the simple answer to that is that well, when the mobilization was announced in Russia, my Cadillac Escalade, which I call the Freedom Car, got me out of Russia. And from Moscow, I drove down to Alania, Turkey, which was a very, very big trip. This is happening. I'm leaving this place now. We're gonna travel. We're gonna try to get over the border, get to Turkey somehow, and just get the heck out of here. We have Milky Way. And I can't even see a thing. This is like 7 a.m. in the morning. We're going through a blog post right now, like a uh, traffic blog post. Guys, we're at like a uh, police stop check and we just got searched right here. And like all of us, like all of our stuff was pulled out and checked and they were asking where you're going and stuff like that. Flipping crazy, you know, guys? Shit, we're trying to skip the whole queue. It's 7.43 a.m. the next day, and we're still stuck in traffic, but we have like one kilometer left, basically. So guys, I'm just at the Russian border right now, and guess what? I just crossed the Russian border. You could see it right there. Got my car uh, checked up, and uh, they seem that uh, it's all good, you know, and uh, uh, the car looks filthy dirty. You could see right here, it's so, so dirty right now uh, it went a very very long way as you could see right here it has dirt all over it but i can tell you one thing guys the american car which is made for freedom has uh, brought three russian lads well actually four russian lads freedom so that's flipping awesome and this is the most important reason why we came over here is to go to the friendliest animals over here the copy bars Look at them. Nice. 
Oh, this guy definitely is quite hungry. Look at them, they're so cool. This is why since I was a little kid, I always was dreaming on about buying myself a car, getting a driver's license, because if you think about it, right, not having your own car is you have to be relied on subways, taxis, buses, and you really don't have the freedom of just hopping in a car and driving somewhere, right? You're, I see you're enjoying that grass, right? Very tasty, look at him. He's really enjoying it. Really tasty. Must be some good grass. Can I pet him? Oh, look at him. Wow, his, his, um, his fur is really stiff. Really stiff. And they're really nice. Apparently, in the wilderness, those are the only animals who have no enemies because they're just nice to everybody. He doesn't care. He's just eating. They really do like their grass. They're so cute as well. It's the first animal that I see that you could just walk to and you're not scared of getting attacked or bitten. I think it's awesome. They do really like the grass though. Look at them, enjoying a bit of grass. Goodbye, capybaras. Enjoy your grass. Wow, there's even turtles around here. Oh, there's one coming out of its house. And some bunnies chilling around eating their food. And here we can check out some alpacas. Savadi cap. Alpaca. They'll package it. Banana? Really? A banana? This little pack really likes some bananas. Some goats. This is one heck of a cool place. They got all sorts of birds. They even got those guys. But they are scary. Those ostriches. The ostriches are just scary. You want to throw food at them before they attack you. And there's also zebras here. Look at that. Some zebras being fed. This guy getting attacked. Look at the zebras. They look beautiful. Evelina is excited to see the zebras. Look, Evelina is getting attacked. <laughs> Attacked by everybody. <laughs> Look, they ate everything and now running away. Okay, guys, this is going to be Mission Impossible because they are those guys. They attack you for food. Look, they're running around. They're like, this is like the Walking Dead. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Zebras, this is for you. Держи. Ага. Okay, let's. Ow! Oh my god! Get away from me! <laughs> Evelina is saying, these are my fans. Gotta feed the little ponies. We got distracted. We distracted the little... What do you want? We got lions here. <laughs> now, whereas most of the animals in this place are living a fairly good life, they're just 
walking around the place. What I'm not a big fan of is having such an animal right here being stuck inside of this enclosement. It's not that big as well. They need a place to run around. They need a huge place. Look at this beast. Oh, I wish somebody will help you go out. Massive animal. Look at this, guys. Crocodiles over here. This is one. But then you got much more crocodiles. Flip in neck. Look at this. That crocodile swimming around. That thing can bite your leg off. So I was in the toilet a second ago and I've seen the most genius thing ever. Viewer discretion advised. Anyways, men's toilet and you're wondering, where are the sinks? Well, you do your stuff, you do a whiz, and then you wash your hands. And when you wash your hands, it flushes this. That is just so genius. It looks like one of those uh, Japanese toilets, you know, when they have really small bathrooms and instead of flushing the toilet, you know, the way it has a tank and water has to go in. So you wash your hands, the tank fills up and then you flush the toilet, saving the environment. Very nice. But before we talk about any more freedoms, we first need to try out a new place that I found on Google, which has some food that we've eaten in Russia before. So let's see how it tastes like over here. In Russia, in Moscow, there is a big population of people from Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, and they got their dish called plov, or you could call it pilaf, but it, I call it plov, which is basically lamb, rice, and all of that together, and tastes delicious. Let's see how it tastes like over here. And we got some kvass, it's been like, I don't even know how long since I drank kvass. So let's see if it's any good. Oh my God. This is class. Very nice. Cheers to you guys with a bit of class. Wherever I go, I'll find some food that is close to my home country. And it's absolutely amazing. And I like to bring you guys on the trips like this because if anybody of you ever visit Pattaya, you could definitely be checking out the places that I've been to because I won't recommend anything bad. This place is called Caravan. You can see from this sign over here, it says Caravan. So you should definitely try it out, probably. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna be talking right now because we haven't tried the food, but the class is good. Kusne class. Evelina thinks it's a Russian class from Ochakovo. It's a company that makes no, class and stuff like that. But she says it's not homemade class. But it's good, it's really good. Here is the dish me and Evelina got. Let's see Evelina's reaction on the plov. <laughs> Evelina said that there is not enough salt. So I'm gonna give her this salt right here. She says our Tajik friend makes better. Let's see how it is. It needs salt, guys. And the rice is overcooked. It's very, very hard to find a really tasty plov. I don't mind this, but would I order this again? I'm not so sure. And I don't see any garlic around here. I've definitely eaten better. But considering we're in Thailand, maybe. But I wouldn't be surprised. I got this Tajik friend that could have went over here and cook a better plov in the jungle. So let's talk about freedoms a little bit. And the biggest reason why I love cars in general. Let's open up a story of my life. As you can see, it's quite empty right now. But this is just for now. This is me when I was a little kid. And this what brought my love to American cars. And the biggest reasoning of that was my grandfather. He actually owned a Corvette way, way, way back when I was a little kid. As you guys know from my previous stories, he was a lawyer in Russia. Unfortunately, as you guys know, 
being a lawyer in Russia is not the best idea. So the business crumbled and he had to sell his favorite possession, which was this Corvette over here. How has this even got anything to do with the freedoms? When I was a kid, I always wanted to get myself a car. I wanted to have a big, huge American car. This is my true love, Cadillac. I don't think there's a better car than Cadillac because it was amazing. I'm sorry for this drawing, Cadillac. Probably the worst ones that you probably saw in your life. What I'm probably trying to say here is, since I was a little kid, I always dreamt of owning a car. And the biggest reasoning of it is, you were always told to stay home, you were always told to take a bus to school, and I really felt that my freedoms were really being put away. Because owning a car nowadays is a way of having freedom. No matter when, no matter where you are, you could hop in your car and drive over whatever you want. And that is the best thing about owning a car. A lot of people forgot about this completely. The amount of freedom that the first cars gave people, they could be traveling all around different countries and it just evolved so bigly into having electrical cars, which is probably really hard to travel anywhere. That's why I like a good old V8 that I could just fuel up. Anyways, not talking about that at the moment, I'm talking about how I see cars. And that is also a big reason why anywhere I go, I try to get myself some sort of a car. Because first of all, it's cheaper. And second of all, I find it to be a good way to store money. And the, the answer to that is quite simple. For example, I got two cars in Thailand, the Mercedes and the Datsun. One of the days I'm gonna sell them and I'm gonna take my money back and I will have that money that I, you know, had, I spent on the cars, I'm gonna take them back and I will have it to be able to buy another car wherever I go next. That is a simple answer to that. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, you could use the public transport, it's amazing, I love it. You do you, you like that type of stuff. You could be riding around on electric scooters, that's also a freedom. But if you wanna travel further away, you definitely want a car. Cadillac, please sponsor me. Anyways guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this little video. You probably thought I'm gonna be speaking about the freedoms in Russia, which they're zero, pretty much. With all the stuff happening right now, with all the news being, with all the laws getting printed out 24 seven out of the Russian government to remove freedom of speech completely so nobody can have the freedoms to do anything. There's no point of talking about that. That is just the way it is in Russia until something big changes. For example, the whole regime crumbles. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure and this little story. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment in the comment section below what you think about this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day, stay safe and be nice to your family strays and your neighbors. See ya.